Robert Askew is incapable of leaving well enough alone. Being the crime addict that he is, he keeps pushing the envelope. Now he's busted out of jail straight into a tempest. I don't know what's worse, the approaching hurricane or the cops hot on his tail. September 1999, Hurricane Floyd is ravaging the East Coast of the United States. At the Chowan County Jail in Edenton, North Carolina, 21-year-old serial thief and con man Robert Askew is attempting to escape in the middle of the ferocious storm. Well, I couldn't hear nothing but wind and rain. The wind was, you know, was probably blowing at least probably 30, 40 miles an hour. Askew knows the cops could be on his trail any second. When the guard comes back, he realizes Askew has escaped. Where the hell is Askew? Came to sleep, brother. He immediately notifies Chief Jailer Mike Chinslow. Well, first thing I do is jump in my car and come up here. Are you guys going to have the resources in this kind of weather? Well, sir, with the hurricane, we're very thin. By that time, the sheriff's been called, all the deputies has been called out, and we all start looking for him. Less than a mile away, Askew is still battling the raging storm. It was scary to a, to a certain extent. At the same time, it was more exciting. I'm a free man. But he may not be for long. He needs to find a way out of the area before the cops find him. They started cutting through neighborhoods, uh, running, slash walking. As night falls, he sees an opportunity. I start hearing a bunch of loud music and partying and stuff. Young kids are throwing a hurricane party. Askew strips off his prison shirt and walks in as if he were invited. I just r rolled up there to the party like I'm supposed to be there. And you know, one of the girls, she's like, damn, boy, what's going on? I was like, look, me and my girlfriend got in an argument. I'm stuck right now. She's like, well, you know, can I do anything to help you out? You not give me a ride? Ride where? I'm not that far, just across town. Let's go. Right. I really appreciate it, thank you. The girls drive Askew 30 miles north to the neighborhood where his father and stepmother now live. About 3 or 4 in the morning, the dog starts barking like crazy. I creep up to my parents' house and I tap on the window. Dang, it's Robin. Once they heard my voice, they knew it was me. Come out in that storm. Don't put this on. You're wet. You're cold. What are you doing? Aren't you supposed to be in jail? I was like, well, you know, look, I just escaped. He's like, yeah, I kind of figured that out. Cops going to be all over this place and no. I told him, I said, look, you, you can't stay here, son. I said, the police will be up here after you and all. But first, they have to find him. I'll go. I just want to grab my stuff. You feel bad, you know, because you entrusted with holding these people. And even though I was not directly involved with him leaving, I was in charge. 